My name is Jason Powell, I'm the CEO of Dawn Aerospace. Um, yeah, we're a space transportation company, we make things that go from Earth to space. You're a space transportation company, what a cool yeah. thing to be able to say, that's amazing. Yeah, oh, no, it's awesome, but it, it's certainly um, it's a good reason to get out of bed in the morning, that's for damn sure. We need better ways to get to space, um, we need ways to make aircraft way more performance so that instead of using rockets, uh, you know, for the first stage of a, of a rocket system, we can actually just use an aircraft. It's way more scalable, way, way better technology to, to um, frequently and reliably access space. You know, that was the key unlock um, that the world needs to make uh, space transportation really commonplace. Basically combine a rocket and a plane. Exactly. We want the performance of a rocket because that's the only way to get to space. But I actually want the economic model and the operation model and everything of an aircraft. So that means I have to design it as an aircraft. I have to certify it from an aircraft. I, be, I have to use existing infrastructure like airports to fly it. And that means if I design this thing, now I can use it at thousands of airports worldwide. I don't need to build thousands of launch bases. Um, and I can you know, just use one vehicle thousands of times instead of having a massive factory to produce you know, thousands of vehicles that only get used once or a few times. But that's the real game changer. Yeah, every time we go out and fly, we fly higher, we fly faster. We're pushing the envelope of what you can do with an aircraft. The one aircraft we have now will be the uh, highest flying, fastest flying, and highest climb rate vehicle uh, aircraft ever to take off from a runway. And how fast do you want to get these to go? Because I heard you today talking about, and forgive me, you want to go supersonic or you want to go faster than supersonic? No, we've already gone supersonic. So the next step is, um, you know, that's a, a, a massive barrier. That's where you change from subsonic, slow flight to supersonic, you know, everything changes. You get these shock waves around the vehicle. It's, it's quite a um, massive change in the dynamics. Um, the next step is to push the same aircraft out to Mach 3.5, which will be faster than any aircraft that's ever taken off from a runway has flown. Um, and beyond that, next is hypersonic, you know, that gets to Mach 5. So you want to create the fastest aircraft to take off from a runway ever in the world? Yep. That's exactly what we're working on right now. How fast is that compared to a car going 100 kilometres an hour? Well, uh, supersonic is over 1,000 k's an hour, and then Mark 3.5 is like rifle bullet type speed. Like that's, that's, that's fast, that's faster than a pistol, that's fast, literally faster than a bullet. And you're going to go even faster and faster than that? Yep, absolutely, faster than a bullet. Wow, yep. where does the drive come, where do the ideas come from? Where does the innovation come from? I'm an entrepreneur not because I wanted to be an entrepreneur. It's because no one else was going to do the thing that I wanted to happen. That's what, that's what, that's what drives me. To that's me. what motivates yep. you. So yeah. you, you've got to have a really deep reason to do it. Yep. And that's your deep reason? Yep, I believe the world really needs this technology. It'll make the world a better place. Because how, how will it make the world a better place? Oh, just the unlock on how much new science we can do, like how much better we'll understand the Earth's atmosphere by being able to access these regions that you can't get with balloons, you can't get with aircraft, but um, you can't get them with satellites either. They, they call it the ignorosphere. You know, that's one, one region, massive impact for climate change, understanding of weather prediction. Microgravity science, biomedical, being able to produce drugs and, and microgravity. There's so many reasons to go to space. And if you can do that 100x or 1000x better than what we currently do, there's this huge uh, amount of value we can bring back down to Earth. I ask a lot of Kiwis this, you know, what is your dream? You know, what is your Kiwi dream? My dream for myself is that I can just keep doing this and, and loving it and, and working on the bit that I think I add real unique value to. You know, that I'm leaning on the longest lever I can to make the world a better place. Um, but just generally to make, make the world a better place. It's, it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm.